Hi everyone, you're here sewing with Cody and Pete, and this is part two of the Bernina 535 brochure overview. Part one, we went over general information. Now on part two, we're going over sewing and quilting. And this is where the machines really start to differ. But like I mentioned in the first video, we're not gonna focus on trying to compare the 535, the 570, and the 590. We're gonna mainly focus on the 535 because they are so different. Stay tuned for videos comparing the 570 and the 590 because those compete a little bit more because mechanically they're more similar than the Bernina 535. So in this one, Pete and I will be going over the sewing and quilting functions of the Bruna 535. The first thing is the pattern start and pattern end function. These are used, we use these very often. So that is the pattern end button here. And once we start stitching, we'll see the pattern begin button appear on the screen. So we've discussed these in other videos because all of our Berninas pretty much have this function. And what it is, is if we press the pattern end button, we'll see a little stop sign appear on the screen. And what it will do is it will finish the stitch that we're on and then it will stop. So we don't start, so we don't end with an incomplete pattern. And the pattern begin button means when we, when we finish the pattern, if we're not using the pattern end, we finish it because we run out of fabric and we stop, we cut the thread and we want to start sewing that stitch again, but we want it to be at the beginning, we can press the pattern begin button, which looks just like this little triangle, but I'll give you a close up view. So it looks just like this little triangle, except this little line is at the top for pattern begin. And we'll see that in the center of the screen. The next function that the Brina 535 has is the security function program. So the security function program, what that is, is we can have the machine stitch in place to secure that stitch. And two of the things that the 535 doesn't have that the 570 and 590 do is triple stitch, which is really neat. We'll go over that in another video and pattern elongation to be able to elongate those stitches. And another thing the 535 doesn't have is pattern in programmable. So we can't program what this button does once it finishes the pattern. So here are some numbers. So the total number of stitches or patterns, which includes every letter of the alphabets that are built in, for the 535, we have a total number of stitches at 1,048. And the Bernina 570 has about 400 more. And the Bernina 590 has about a little over 700 more stitches than the 535. All of them have short-term altered memory, and long-term altered memory. So short-term altered memory, all the Brinas have it and they've had it for a very, very long time. That's if we're at one stitch and we've altered it, like change a stitch width or change a stitch length, and we go to another stitch and say if we've altered that one, and then we need to go back to our previous stitch or want any of the previous stitches since we've had the machine on, those settings that we had it set to last are there still. We didn't have to write anything down or save it into a folder to be able to retrieve it. It automatically saved those stitches from how we used them previously until we turn off the machine or hit the clear button. And long-term memory is we can save them more permanently. So if we do turn off the machine and turn it back on, they'll still easily be saved. And like our other machines, we can go in and create and save combination stitches. So we can take a flower and add a leaf and then it'll stitch that flower and leaf just in the loop. And then we can save that for a previous uh, stitch out. So you can combine multiple designs and then save it. And also we can change our stitches while we're sewing. So if we're doing like a zigzag and if we're sewing, we can make that zigzag wider and narrower, longer or shorter while we're actually sewing. And that's, that, that's what they're referring to on the sewing and quilting. So the total utility stitches for this machine is 30. And so the utility stitches are basically these stitches right here. For the most part, these are what they refer to as utility stitches. So these are what I refer to as a stitch with a purpose. 
So this is where your blind hem stitch is. This is where the, your like stitch that you would use to sew on ribbing. This is where your overlock stitch is, your zigzag, your uh, super stretch stitch for sewing a straight stitch on a knit fabric or a stretchy fabric. These are stitches with a purpose and these are a total of 30 utility stitches. Then the next one are, are, are our buttonhole stitches, which include eyelets. So this machine has 14. Um, so those are found here in our buttonhole tab. So here are our buttonhole stitches and we've got two eyelets and a sew on button stitch. So all of our Bernina's with a, with a touchscreen have automatic buttonhole length measuring system. So that's basically if we select a buttonhole, we can come here and then come here and we can take our button, place it on the screen, use either knob and change the size of that yellow circle to match our button. And because everything we see on the screen, well, all of our stitches we see on the screen um, are to scale, it's easy to measure our button on the screen and it will create the proper size buttonhole. And that's what the automatic buttonhole length measuring system is. The next one is an automatic buttonhole. So all of our Berninas, um, our current model Berninas have an automatic buttonhole. It uses the button number 3A foot, which comes with it, comes with the, thir the 335. You also have the option of a multi-step buttonhole, which most people don't use these days unless we're working with an extra long buttonhole. Um, the button sew on program, which we saw here. So stitch number 60 using foot number 18, as we see on the screen here, is the, the stitch and the foot we would use to sew on buttons. We have darning programs. So these will be in utility stitches. So we can scroll through and there are different darning stitches that we can use. And like this one is one of the automatic ones. We can use the, but the buttonhole foot number 3A. So as for decorative stitches, the Bernina has, the Bernina 335 has 300 decorative stitches. So most those decorative stitches are going to be here. So the second tab and they have, this one has 600 folders. I'm sorry. This one has six folders and there's multiple stitches in each folder. They can go and scroll through the different folders. So there's 300 in the Bernina 535, where the 570 has 450 and the 590 has 500. Qu total number of quilting stitches is 44. And our quilting stitches are in the quilting stitch folder here. The 570 has the most because it is a quilting edition machine. So as for cross stitch stitches, those are actually in our cross stitch folder, folder number 300. There are 31 of those stitches. And then as for sewing alphabets, here are our tab here with sewing alphabets and there are five sewing alphabets. And these are max stitch width or basically a max height at five and a half millimeters because the machine can only stitch five and a half millimeters wide. This machine is, has sewing tutorials and creative sewing consultant. So those are found here. So we have our on-screen sewing tutorials. So basically our on-screen manual and our creative consultant. So our creative consultant, we can tell it what type of fabric we're working with. And then let's say like a medium weight woven and we can tell it what our sewing application is. Let's say if it's free motion quilting. And then it's gonna tell me what needle, what thread, what stitch, what foot. And like this one is telling me use foot number 42, which is our stitch regulator, which the machine's capable of using, but it doesn't come with. And it tells us we need to lower our feed dogs, which is on the side. And then we're going to need some type of stabilizer. In this case, it would be batting. And if we hit the check mark, it will change a lot of those things for us. Tension, foot, stitch, you name it. So those are the sewing and quilting items listed on the back of the brochure just kind of gone over and talked about because a lot of these things especially to a new sewer or someone new to Bernina it do, they all don't quite make a lot of sense so I want to go over them so we can cover and look and see what all what the Bernina 535 is capable of so if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel so you see more videos and stay tuned for more about the 535 happy sewing